Hi. I'm Drew McLean. I'm here with one of the uh, Greenpeace activists attending the Bank of America rally. And uh, sir, may I ask you, uh, is there any specific environmental issue that brought you here today? Yeah, sure. Clean energy. Quick call. Quick call. All right. And uh, how do you think Bank of America in particular could be more uh, responsible when it comes to clean exactly. energy? You already said that by not funding. Not funding. Oh, yeah. Not funding. Coal. Energy. Yes. Big corporation. Perfect. Uh, do you have a, a vision for 20 years from now of uh, what Bank of America and environmental policy could look like? Green energy, no nuclear, solar energy, I mean, there's plenty of Solar energy? It's free too. So. Alright, renewable energy. Alright, thank you very much sir, appreciate it. Yes, of course, and check us on the website. We I'm Drew McLean with the Canary Coalition, and I'm here with Kayla, who's participating in the Bank of America protests and rally. Uh, Kayla, uh, what environmental issue has brought you here today? Um, I'm concerned with uh, Bank of America's investment in coal energy and in dirty energy that is sickening the country and destroying our planet. Okay. Do you know in which ways that Bank of America has supported coal? They're one of the top investors of the coal industry, and their supporting of the industry is just uh, is there any solution that you can see here? What, what do you hope to accomplish? I hope that Bank of America realizes that people don't want them investing their money in dirty energy. And hopefully they'll see that we want them to be investing in clean energy and eventually make that transition. Okay. Kayla, thank you for sharing with us today. We hope your voice is heard. Todd, are there any environmental issues in particular that uh, have brought you here today or influenced your decision to be here? Absolutely. So, uh, living in Charlotte, this is a city where one in four children growing up will end up with respiratory disease or asthma. And this is because there's five dirty coal plants all around our city. Um, and growing up, I had a lot of playmates and friends and even my sister and my mother get asthma because our air quality is so bad. And so I was out here today uh, trying to end the use of coal in the United States. Um, because it's poisoning our air, it's poisoning our water, and it's causing climate change. We just can't afford to pay that anymore. Okay. How, is, uh, how is Bank of America involved in the coal plants? Bank of America is actually the single largest funder of the coal industry in the United States. In the last few years, they've given over $6 billion in loans to build new coal mines, build new coal plants, and keep us uh, you know, dependent on dirty energy. Um, and so it's a clear instance where Bank of America is putting their profits ahead of the needs of our people and our planet. Okay. Uh, idealistically, uh, what would you hope to achieve here? What What is your vision for the future? I'd love to see Bank of America put it into funding for the coal industry across the board. I mean, it's uh, it's putting our whole world and our and the future of every living thing at risk uh, for short-term profits. And I think that if the bank really considered that, they would create a policy to stop funding coal, take all the money they currently give to the coal industry and put it into renewable energy. Um, I think that would be a, a really positive direction, something the bank could easily do. All right, thank you very much for your time, and we hope that your voice has been heard here yeah, today. Yeah, I think it has. Thanks.